All right, so we're playing Rivers of London, and uh, yeah, like we were talking about, it's in a lot of ways, it's kind of like simplified Call of Cthulhu. Um, so you are all in the uh, the East Coast kind of area, like Chicago, Detroit, New York, uh, most of you are in New York, and um, you, uh, there is a, a a freak blizzard that is kind of pummeling New York. And it's like the third year in a row where this is happening. And um, the just like snow drifts that are kind of up to the tops of doors of cars and stuff. And it just comes out of nowhere. Like, um, and, and there's been these kind of strange freak weather events that have been happening, like hurricanes. And, um, but uh, it, it, it's a little slightly suspicious because it lines up with the uh, winter solstice, and mm -hmm. um, you. So you're you're also a group of uh, like paranormal investigators, kind of friends who belong to an order that sort of investigates things like this, and um, you have like YouTube channels and stuff, and uh, you're kind of browsing your YouTube videos and on your home feed, you know, like you make this kind of content. So you get this weird, like supernatural content stuff that pops up on your feed. And there's all this stuff that's happening in New York where people are like riding on the subways and then they, they look and then they see somebody who looks like a ghost, but they're carrying like a briefcase and then they keep looking at their watch and it's like the middle of the night and they're like, I'm gonna be late going to be late uh or strange yeah. things like um the people are on subway platforms and they're like look at that like my phone is charging and then the, another guy's like yeah my you know my computer is charging it must be some kind of new wi-fi or something that's on that the city's putting in and all kinds of strange occurrences like that and of course the comments are like fake fake you know um or you're uh i, th I suppose as some of you are talking and you're sort of sharing these videos to each other. Maybe one of you has had one of these experiences where you're riding the subway or something like that. And then you hear like invisible buskers that are playing on somewhere on the platform. You just cannot, and it sounds like they're right next to you, but you can't find them or something like that, right? So um, yeah, M maybe you could introduce yourselves, kind of uh, talk about who you are and what you do. You go and go first. I can go first. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm uh, Amelia Torres, a uh, 28 year old, born and bred, despite my accent, uh, born and bred Brooklyn, uh, New York. Uh, I am uh, a 28 year old uh, Latina, uh, long hair, usually dress in BDUs, sneakers and uh, hoodies. But now it's winter, so uh, I have an old secondhand army jacket to complement uh, my consistent hoodie use. Um, always carry around a bag. Um, uh, a backpack filled with assortment of junk everything from like these small fireball uh what, what uh what's that cinnamon liquor called is it fireball yeah fireball yeah yeah fireball. uh <laughs> small bottle um camera equipment flashlights uh uh always uh fiddling with my smartphone with different apps uh i am kind of lean built and not muscular uh on the short side lean built probably because i don't eat really like properly due to well you don't get fat on being a rep uh, being a photographer trying to be a freelance photographer but I do what I can. Uh, you probably also know that I have, I am 
supplementing my income with being a legitimate paparazzi, uh, which has led to me being arrested for trespassing more than three times. But let go, no f uh, charges filed or anything. But that's Amelia. Hello. Hi. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Hayden Park, and um, I'm fighting for the cause of science, one YouTube channel at a time. And that I, I got um, to know you people initially through making disgruntled, but I hope articulate comments on the various woohoo uh, remarks that were being um, um, posted in YouTube. And um, so we eventually got to know one another through emails and so on. And I decided that um, I could help better if I came along. Essentially, everything has a scientific explanation. And if we don't think that, well, it's because we don't understand the science properly yet. But to say that science is incapable of understanding these things is really um, completely wrong. Having said that, some of the things which I've witnessed over the last um, few months, I really don't have an explanation for. And uh, so obviously we need quite a lot more science in order to deal with, um, with all of these things. Um, but in the meantime, I'm packing my medical bag as we go down here, because sometimes people get scrapes and scratches and fall when you're going, when, when, when you're wandering around. And I don't want anyone to get tetanus or other regular mishaps that science mm -hmm. understands. So mm -hmm. trying to keep you all alive, basically. Thank you. I'm all for that. Um, I'm Corrine Jones. I'm a... Uh... Originally hailed from Detroit, where I was a police officer. Uh, I ended up uh, retiring early because of the politics and crap and stuff. So I'm a PI now, and I've also become a Newtonian apprentice. Um, and um, I dress uh, by putting on the right jacket. She can uh, fit in at, in a business meeting. Otherwise, she just looks like people going around her normal and normal clothing and stuff like that uh as far as amelia goes it's like occasionally there's things a little bit outside of her range and uh her ability in photography i might um see about hiring you if if you don't mind to take some of those pictures you know the night shots that are particularly difficult getting the exposure right that sort of thing like that although i don't i more of my stuff is more intellectual research than it is stalking somebody for pictures for their wife and you know, their wife or their husband or anything like that. Occasionally, if I have to, I'll do that that's for money. But normally it's more I'm researching uh, and investigating things for clients. Uh, a lot of my stuff is actual research and in, in the library and court records, et cetera, et cetera. So. All right. All right. Uh, I'm Morgan Orton. Uh, I'm a graduate student at Columbia Un University. Uh, was approached by somebody on campus, recruited into a martial arts class where I actually learned magic. Magic's real. How's that? <laughs> I thought it was a bunch of hokey at first, but no, nah, it's, it's real. I learned some stuff. Um, yeah, I also know martial arts, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Copiera. Now that's a combination. So, <laughs> Capoeira, yeah. by the way. Oh, thank you. All right. So, um, yeah, are you all, you're all kind of heading, or people who are, aren't in New York are heading to New York to kind of investigate? I just assume that you've all been talking about this stuff. 
Um, okay. Yeah, definitely. We, we're in contact uh, via, I guess we have our a mail list or a, like a message list mm. on the cell phones. Right. Uh, Whoever is in New York can arrange for us to have a place to stay up there. Mm -hmm. I would love right. you uh, to have you all crash at my place, but it's literally as big as a closet. Oh, so. oh, is, 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 are none of us from New York except for you? Okay. <laughs> no, um, let's see. Morgan, he's, he's, you're in Columbia, right? So, yeah. 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 Uh, but but maybe you live in a dorm or something. I don't know. Yeah. If you're a grad student, uh, probably a little cramped. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mean, it's just like yeah, I yeah. Probably, somebody would probably know a place, a good place to make home, uh, to make reservations at. So they weren't too expensive. That wasn't a total dump. That sort of thing like that. That's near where we're where we're going to be. But yeah. Not too luxurious. So not staying at the Four Seasons. Well, there's yeah. a motel. I'm from out of town, yeah. and. Um, it it's a bit of a trek to get to the rail station. Let's define that I'm in, I don't know, New Jersey somewhere. Oh, but just... once I fought my way, once I fought my way through the snow to get to the rail station, found that they cleared the tracks reasonably, and was able to get up to New York. Um, uh, okay, and mm -hmm. um, you you define GM where the the snow means the rooms in New York are more full or more empty than normal right well so there's a lot of flights that have been canceled of course um but people are taking the subways the subways are are working and um i, I guess there's a lot of people that would have canceled plans but that doesn't necessarily mean that a lot of people are coming into new york so it's not really hard to find a hotel room it's just that there's people that are trying to get out are stuck. Right. And they're not right. too happy about it. Um, but so as you're kind of on the train, right, and you're coming in through the tunnel, sure enough, one of these weird kind of events happens to you. Um, you're sitting on the train and you're you're alone in the car. And um, it seems like it just takes forever. It's like, it's supposed to be 10 minutes from one stop to the next stop. And it's like, you just keep looking at your watch and it seems like it's like taking for like a, like an hour to get from one stop to the next stop, even though supposedly time is passing normally, it just feels like it takes an hour <clears throat> to get from one station to the next one. Wow. Um, is that... When I look at my clock, is time passing subjectively normally? Yeah, it's like when you're in elementary school or something, and then you're waiting for a class to end, and then the five minutes just seems like five hours. It's like you yeah. haven't, it hasn't felt like this since you can't remember when to wait for time to pass. An age refresh for my um, phone, for my iPhone, is that kind of normal or is that slowed down? Yeah, it's like things are working, like electronics are working okay. And, um, but yeah, like everything just, it's like time is passing so slowly. And the outside the window, the track, the, the walls keep passing as a normal speed. It does, it does seem like, it's just it just seems like the ride is taking forever, but it does seem like the car is sort of moving at a normal speed. So it doesn't really make sense. That doesn't make sense. Mm -mm. But eventually you do make it to your hotel, okay, or your hostel or whatever, wherever you all are staying. Since you can't stay with Amelia and Morgan because they their rooms are like one room. <laughs> little studio apartments I will mark this in my odd things that have happened notebook what time of the day or night is this um say that it's kind of like early evening like five o'clock but it's still dark because it's the middle of winter mm -hmm. 
So yeah, um, Karin, how are you coming into the city? Howard? Oh, oh Karin. Hayden. Oh, sorry. Um, Karin. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Because um, you're coming from Detroit, right? Yeah. I'm going to try to get in before it gets dark uh, because I don't really know my way around too much. So um, see if I can get in around two or three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Of course, probably probably flights will be delayed and stuff like that. So who knows when I actually get in? Yeah. So you know, you you get in just fine. Mm -hmm. Nothing strange or paranormal on your you know on your train or or what you know or you're not driving, are you? You're just taking no, the train. No, no, that's too that's a bit far away. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing strange really happens on your train. So um, I'm just assuming that you all kind of meet up and talk about things like your, you know, your your friends or acquaintances. Um, so one other thing happens as you're all kind of walking around the city, you know, doing whatever you're doing, like going to get coffee or whatever, get groceries for your, your little place where you're staying. Um, each one of you in turn gets a a handwritten letter a little note um and it is delivered to you in a strange way like um you'd be walking down the street and you're you know you have your your hood up because it's freezing outside and then um you could have swore that an owl or like a pigeon or something like flew by and then dropped a, a letter like in the in the back of your hood or like in your pocket or something or somebody like snuck up behind you and you thought that you were alone and then all of a sudden you look in your pocket and then you find a small note a strange little letter and um each one of these letters is addressed to you individually and as you open it up it, each one of them has a small key inside and there's nothing really strange about the keys per se, um, but they're all different. And then they look like they open up different size doors. Um, so, but you each get one in turn and it is addressed to you. And then they have this really flowery kind of like um, filigree writing and uh and there's no stamps on the envelope or anything it's just they're just put into your pockets right and they say um that you are cordially invited to the night markets and and then it says i think you know what to do with your keys I will jam uh, the whole, uh, because uh, it's in an envelope, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I will jam it deeper down into the pocket because I guess I uh, we've been talking through messages. Uh, and am I assuming correctly that uh, Dr. Park uh, resides in a proper hotel? Yes, you're welcome to come over if you need the space. I mean, it's uh, not it's it's not big, but um, it's if if someone else needs to crash, then it's fine. But I I mean, uh, we we can all meet up uh, in the restaurant. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I just jam it down and uh, head towards the nice. hotel where Doctor Park is staying. Uh, just had a. I'll text everybody. Just had an interesting uh, experience. Talk to you when we get when I get there. Yeah, there's a good uh, um, New York style um, Italian diner next door to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Just what you need on a cold night like 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 this. Nothing beats a bit of good spaghetti. Oops. 
Okay, so you're all meeting up at this uh, Italian mm -hmm. restaurant? Mm -hmm. Good to right. see you all. Hi, how you doing? It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing, Morgan? Ah, pretty good. How are you? Cold as a witch's tit outside, but Shit, otherwise yes. it's good. Uh, how long, like, how this snow is driving me nuts. Do you, do you know... I have a bike. It's it's virtually impossible to bike anywhere. Like I yeah, have no to take, I have to take the subway and it's horrible. I got to say to weird in note. Yep. Did you guys get that what? as did you get that as well? Yeah, Tim bought the night Marcus, and I got this key too. Wait, hmm. where did I put? It? Oh, here. We all got this. Well, that is very strange. I make an annotation yeah. to my earlier note in my <laughs> notebook. <laughs> Believe it or not, a bird dropped it in my pocket. That's um, what happened to me. Magic. Someone bumped into <laughs> me, and I when I checked if they had nicked my my wallet or uh, my phone, I found this instead. Hmm. I was walking under a, a, a light post with the owl uh, perched on top, and something dropped, and I felt it hit my backpack, satchel backpack, which I knew I had closed. Which, uh, but I got when I took it down, it was open and this was in here. Mm. Mm. Maybe it's AI. I mean, there are those who say that birds aren't real. Yeah, yeah. And maybe I've there's the, well. and, and AI is pretty powerful these these days. So maybe it's some kind of prestige delivery service that some billionaire oh. has has um has got developed. Seriously. This is like a prototype. Drones seems, nowadays, seriously. Yeah. 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 If I hadn't seen the bird, I would have said I would have said maybe a drone, but I I definitely saw an owl, and I don't care what you say, birds are real. No, birds what aren't are real, these? but but these but these might be bird drones. It's a new kind of delivery mechanism mm. that they have. Mm. I mean, after all, birds and, are pretty good at flying, so why wouldn't they make drones like birds? And we haven't heard about it, and it is me. curious. Mm. What concerns me is they, each of us, whoever they are, and were, were able to pat, pick us out on the street. I had my hood up, covering most of my face. So how in the hell would anybody know that was me out of all the other people on the street? And, and well, how the billionaires are tracking us them? through our phones. Yeah, but how did they? How did how did they know I had a, uh, the backpack was open? I mean, AI in the bird. It would have dropped it in your hand otherwise. Since it was, yeah, okay. Don't. But it wasn't. The, I mean, I, that, but that's the point. Is it wasn't open? But when I took it off, it was. And, and, and so, as you're you're kind of talking about this, say that you open up one of your letters and you kind of show off your key. Yeah. To mm -hmm. the others, and they all, they, they none of the keys look the same, and some of them are smaller, mm. some of them are bigger, and they also seem to kind of sort of match your stature, right? Like, like Dr. Park, I think that you're kind of a big man, right? You're large. Yeah, quite, quite tall. Yeah. So you have a a big key. <laughs> no, no euphemism. It's just. It's like... And now, um, okay, keys. Modern style key, old style key. They look to be like relatively modern, like not very like, old. Like, like a door uh, key, like a locker key, like a one of, key. One of them, it does in fact look like it could be like a locker key, one of the smaller mm. ones. And then one of them looks like it could open up some big industrial thing, Dr. Park's key. Anyone heard right. like this sounds 
do, do, uh, are the letters worded exactly the same apart from uh, them being addressed to a specific person? Right. They're all just addressed to you, but they pretty much just say the same thing that you're cordially invited yeah. to the night markets. And what this... are these night markets? See, you guys ever hear of these? What is that? And I, I, I don't know anything about it. To me, it sounds like some yeah. analog, analog darknet. Yeah. Like well, first thing that came to my mind, but of course that's totally ridiculous, was the um, the Goblin Market. So... What's that? I, I I'd like I to mean, Google it's, it's it's That's poem. that's what I would. Well, if any of you want to do a um, a, if you so, like like you were saying, um, Corinne, if you want to do a role like an education for his education, um. Damn you, different skill mm -hmm. names. Yeah, research, I think. Or okay, yeah, um, research if you're 16. But yeah, because, I because you're a... Um, Four. Okay, so you've, you have you mentioned this. You mentioned these like goblin markets, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a myth. It's like a a place where people who do who deal in the supernatural... Like they go there to trade, mm -hmm. um, but it kind of mm -hmm. like it fits the bill, and it's like it's a myth, you know. It's like some people say that it's under it's in this tunnel, or some people say that it's under this bridge, and and that the the goblins and the fae go there to like meet up and trade, but it's like an urban legend. Wait, right. that's why it sounds familiar. I, 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 it just just hit me. It, it is kind of like a goblin market, except it's called the night market. It's a legend. It's supposed to be in various different subway tunnels where people go up magic shorts to go do trading. Uh, supposedly the failure, some failure is supposed to be there. So, do you mean they're real? From what I understand, yes. Uh huh. Not quite like they are in the legends, but of course. Look, some New York people do look quite strange. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to say to say anything pejorative about them by sort of othering them, by calling them fae or fairy or whatever. I mean, we're all humans here. Yeah. I mean, it is a de derogatory term for gay people, so... That's not what you mean, right, Corinne? No, no, of no, course not. I mean, no. I mean, like old style. Before people started messing around with uh, words and putting new meanings to them, yeah. uh, but uh, I mean, well, I've I... never met it. I've never met any. Supposedly, they're supposed to exist, just like I've never been to the night market, which is supposedly in some tunnel in the sub and subway system. I, I name off a couple of ones that I've heard. Uh, but but why would we get how how did anyone know that we were associated with each other? We've been tracked yeah, online. Uh, it's easy enough. I mean, we oh, think yeah, oh, that yeah. it's all private, but the billionaires—they've no, no, really got nothing's our number. Private. Mm -hmm. Nothing's private. No, no. That doesn't even take magic for that. Like you said, that's you know, technologies. Can you guys just uh, look like really invested in and in, in checking out one of the letters and I can take a picture? Well, probably take That's a look good. at me because I am checking out the letter quite intently. <laughs> but like look enthusiastic, like point and or something because I want to document this whole thing. How about looking hmm, quizzical or something like Resort. that? <laughs> I'm Hold documenting. Up the light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. Hold it up to the light to see if there's, there's any, any watermarks, or... watermarks and uh, heat up the paper over the candle there to see if something's written like in invisible lemon ink juice. or something. Yeah, lemon mm -hmm. juice or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Can't hurt. 
So yeah, just say that with all of you doing this together and with your very, very super high observation role, um, you would know that this is vellum. It's not actually paper. And it's a high quality mm. kind of vellum. Like the, the it would not um the kind that you would find in like uh, a very old book. Okay. Mm. Wow. This is nice. Interesting. This is good. This Does is it good look paper. like this it's old not... vellum? Then no. taken from an old book or it's freshly made? It looks freshly made, but it's a very high quality vellum. Uh, <laughs> This uh, sense vestigia does it include magic? Yes. Yeah. If you if vestigia. you want to do if you want to do a sense vestigia, you can. Mm -hmm. And can that be used multiple times throughout the game? Oh yeah, yeah. you don't you don't My have to earn magic question. points to do okay. to do a vestigia. No. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm gonna try to do a sense vestigia to see if anything magical is uh, linked to these things. And I rolled a ooh, 50 out of 60. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, you know, some things hold vestigia better than others and paper isn't really one of them, but there isn't uh, really, um, you're not really getting anything. What about the key? The keys, yeah, I got, the I keys, got 11 on that. Yes, I'm looking at the, the keys. keys are, they are pinging as like, um, you know, magical. They're, yeah, you're getting like a, um, um, and in fact, you're even getting like a strange smell kind of coming off mm. of one of them. Like it smells like cherry blossoms and almost like a taste of like static electricity in the back of your mouth. Chili blossoms? Cherry, cherry, cherry. blossoms. Cherry blossoms. Yeah. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Uh, this key here, I'm getting a uh, um, sense of something magical involved with this and the smell of cherry blossoms. Also got this weird electrical taste in the back of my mouth. You know, like ozone? Right. Yuck. That cherry blossoms. Was, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what. Well, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a magic was involved. That's yeah. spring. Right. It's also two mm -hmm. different, different, uh, if I, uh, sorry, I don't, Mr. 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 Park, you don't, Hayden, you, you don't believe, Hayden, you don't believe Dr. it. Dr. Park. Dr. Park, okay. When I, um, um, will cast a thing, I'm, you're probably going to get the impression for me, if anything related to me, um, like wrestling paper, spell of coffee, the aftermath of a photo flash, in other words, persistence of vision. Different practitioners have their own kind of signatures, whether they want to or not. And it's well, it's almost like a chemically kind of smell. Like uh -huh. if you could picture like cherry blossom, cherry blossom LaCroix, like that's the weird taste that you're getting in the back. Yeah. Like artificial. almost chemically, yeah, artificial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's yeah. uh, could do I smell it, or it requires this magical woo woo sensibility to be able to smell the well. The Japanese yeah. blossom. I think that you've been exposed to magic before, like you saw something strange in the emergency room or something like that. I think that you do have sense vestigia. It's just that yours isn't as good as yeah. Morgan or Corinne's. Yeah, so it's try, a skill. Try, try rolling. Right, I rolled 08. Is that good enough to detect yes. something? Yeah. Yes. So you're you're you know you're like kind of sniffing this key to see if it smells like cherry blossoms, and then sure enough, you kind of pick up that strange, just mm. off little yeah. scent. It's like metallic, but it also it smells flowery, almost sweet, but like sickly sweet, like strange, yeah. chemically sickly sweet. Yeah, well, Doctor. Maybe it's from something... a Japanese restaurant or something. They're into yeah. mm. cherry blossom, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, that seems a little yeah, but unlikely. Food, but right? but that there, if there's a scientific reason, you ought to try to find it because I mean that's it. Be I mean I think you're right. I think magic is a form of science we just don't understand. Uh, so it, anything well, that you can there's... do to further the knowledge. 
obviously there there it, it, what we call magic is just science that we don't understand yet but in yeah. most cases there's this there's this principle called occam's razor which we go for the simplest mm -hmm. kind of explanation now normally smell doesn't attach itself to a metallic uh, scent doesn't attach to a metallic object but right. perhaps it is in this um in this case here or it's a well, there's some kind of suggestion going on, but I would agree with you that I seem to detect this slightly chemically blossom smell. Mm -hmm. um, I'll make a note of that. So it's it's like a signare. You're you're sort of picking up a signare that is cherry blossom smell, but also metallic. But you would also know that cherry blossoms are a spring thing. It's not in the winter. Mm -hmm. And they would mm -hmm. not be in bloom anywhere in New York. doesn't matter where you go. Yeah. No, it's not until May, I think. Right, and it's the middle of winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is... Yeah. What, what is, what is the date sense. right now? What is the date right now? Oh, say that it is the um, the twenty first. Yeah, it's the twenty first of December, or yeah, midwinter. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you think that has some significance? Hard to say. I don't know. It doesn't say that I should know what to do with the key in my letter. I don't know what it said in yours. I think keys go in locks, but beyond that, I don't know where the lock is. Well, we find I think me neither. Dealers, if we if we find if we find Do we want go, to we, like these doesn't goals, this, we want to doesn't, do the, doesn't this scare any one of you? Tiny bit, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. I'm, well, I'm concerned. I'm the, uh, I'm very concerned. Like someone tells me to go to the night market that I've never mm -hmm. heard of. Give me a key, like not to be. I mean, I've seen things. I, I'm a believer. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. But, like, this feels like entrapment to me. It could like a be, trap. Or, but I'm not sure why, why mm -hmm. we're we'll be trapping. Uh, more, my guess would be that until we see whatever it is, we ain't going to believe it until we see it. Until we see it. And it's kind of funny. Uh, the uh, night markets are supposed to be in subway tunnels and whatnot. And all these ghost sightings have been in the subway tunnels. Oh, I, I've seen those. Believe me. Yeah. And I've heard buskers and I've... I've just out of the corner of my eyes seen people waiting for the train and when I turn there, there's no one there. Mm -hmm. Super mm -hmm. creepy. Super creepy. Yeah. Yeah, well, Not I think so... you just need to get a perspective on this. I mean, it's it, there's 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 a lot of we're li we're living in a more superstitious age, and the power yeah. of auto suggestion is great. And I wouldn't want to diminish what anyone else feels that mm -hmm. they um, are seeing, mm -hmm. but yeah. I basically, uh, I mean, there's 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 no need to be frightened. Of whatever's going on here, it's no, there I, is a I'm, logical explanation for it all. I'm I'm not, I'm uh, not I, scared. I'm not scared of the supernatural part of it. I'm scared of crazy people who try to lure us in with rumors of supernatural stuff. I, I just we are the playthings of the that. billionaires, and we and we do need to be very careful about what is about what happens there and uh when we get messages um uh just coming out of the blue and yes. um i i think entrapment is certainly a possibility or maybe it's mm -hmm. the chinese or maybe it's the russians i don't know where this is coming from but this <laughs> this ai bird drone technology is very very impressive 
Uh, I sent you a DM, Steve. Oh. <laughs> you know, D Dr. Park, some of that stuff sounds more far fetched than magic does. I'm sorry, it really does. No, we do need to be careful, but there's four of us. I think we can, between the four of us, we can watch each other's backs pretty easily. Uh, yeah, I don't have all the answers, but I just believe in this Occam's razor business mm -hmm. that, um, and what Arthur C. Clarke said, that technology at a certain level seems like magic. Yes, I, I agree. I, I agree. But I like you guys, and I, I don't want to fall out, and I want to make sure that we all come out mm -hmm. of this okay. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm, I've am i gotten some great pics of you guys here at the table. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have um? Do you have um? Infrared film. Uh, yeah, I have the, the the whole load of stuff in my backpack here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've got light sensitive lenses. I've got everything that this player does not know about photography because i do not know anything you're, about photography <laughs> you're going to have to have the sensitive you're, you're going to have uh, like one camera there with uh, infrared film you're going to need a box so you can take so you can take it out and put it in because if you do it out in even in ambient light in the dark if there's a little bit of light it's going to mess up it's going to mess up the film oh so. i have that at home um yeah. no problem okay and if we're uh, going around tunnels, then it's a question of the head headlights. Yeah. And also <laughs> maybe you can have a head mounted camera. That's yeah. Yeah, um, headlights would would be uh needed. And yeah, while we're, tomorrow, yeah. we're talking, you see me putting a pile of napkins on the table. Like, as for magic being woo-woo, check this shit out. Nothing up my sleeves. And I cast Aqua. Okay, go ahead and roll. Make sure, make sure you right set the stuff at the table. Tower. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, you got out it. of fourteen out of um, what is that? I think you're. I don't you're see casting... the magic. Well, that'd be you're... sixty. Yeah. Oh, magical 60. arts. He's sixty. Oh, yeah, that's over half. Yeah, so that's a hard. <laughs> that's a hard success. So yeah, you see this golf ball size thing of water up here and just splish down into the napkins. How's that for some tit? <laughs> I look up to see if there's a uh, leak in there. Sure. <laughs> I am uh just backing away because I'd not want to get wet and then go out in this. Yeah, that's weather. why I put the napkins down. <laughs> All right. It's well, like, I will make it appear. I will right make a note of that. That's item number four on this evening's list of things I, I need to explain. Thank thank you very much. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I asked I I ask some I, I asked some of the older people here was like, you know, I'm on, I think I'm only about 10 years older than I, uh, he is. It's like, were we like that when we were his age? <laughs> I'm only 25. <laughs> okay, so less than that, even. <laughs> She's only 32. <laughs> uh, GM, the mm -hmm. uh, the restaurant, uh, it, it isn't a fancy, it, it's more like a diner place, right? Right, yeah. Like kind of uh, hole in the wall, like Italian place. Do they have like coffee pots out? Uh, like uh, or do is it only like the uh, servers and uh, staff that can that can access them? Yeah, they uh, would probably have one in the back, you know, like in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was behind the bar. Re re refilling my thermos for free, but okay. <laughs> yeah, usually here these servers come around with the coffee pot to fill your mm -hmm. cup if you're low. That's uh yeah, oh, we'll, we'll have to think of something. Yeah. How, how about this? Dump it's your like, cup into the thermos. 
<laughs> How about this? It's like, uh, hey, I know this is an unusual request, but it's cold out there. It's like, if we pay a few dollars for it, can you fill up the thermos? Yeah, but that costs a lot. Oh. It's okay. I've got this. I'm, I'll am i pick up the tab. Oh, mm. thank you. Thank you. I mean, that's great. No problem. No problem. That's great. Mm. That's so sweet of you, Doctor. My 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 pleasure. It's great to see you, you guys. Yeah, thank again. you. Refilling yeah. the thermos. Thank you. Do you want anything more? Um. No, I'm. We've eaten. Like, I'm ready to. Like, I. We need to plan this though. Mm -hmm. I have no. Uh, like Corinne, you you know of the these goblin markets. At what time of day is it? Like <laughs> well, if it was the story that I mean it, it, the, the the time of day doesn't really matter so much. Uh but uh these night markets, well, at night, yeah. I I'm assuming, mm. right? Yeah. Wouldn't make should sense we, in the name. Should, should we go down like tonight? I think so. We need to get some stuff together. I don't have uh, anything to do. I'm gonna get changed in some clothes suitable for uh uh tropping around in uh um tunnels. Uh, I have all my stuff with me, so yeah. yeah. So I mean Yeah, I have there. another shift late tomorrow, so no time like the present. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, it's your I'm place. Not wearing anything fancy uh, and. Uh, Amelia, what what do you say? You've you've heard stuff uh, like uh, the buskers. No. So, so what what time of what time was this? Uh, evening. Late evening. Early evening. Late... Uh, late evening. A couple of days ago. Okay. Hmm. If anyone wants to freshen up, I've got. There's a reasonable. Yeah. Um, en suite in my room. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to head up and just. No, I'm, I'm good, doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I uh, I prefer waiting inside for the others. I can stay down in the lobby or something. I'll I'll go up there. Like I said, change change clothes. Uh, um, uh... Yeah, I don't care if these get dirty. Yeah. Well, I also want the so, kind of galoshes too, because they can get kind of wet down there. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. We haven't all yeah. magically wanna... got pass keys to my room here in our pockets. I see, <laughs> but I'll get I'll get some copies of this one made. Ding ding ding. Yeah. So, Corinne, say that you're kind of trying to sort through some of the BS about um, the night markets or the goblin markets and. You do come across something that sounds like it could be true, where somebody's saying, if you want to trade with the Fae, if you want to trade with the goblins, bring gold or silver or jewels. Hmm. Or like magical items. Excuse me. Where's the nearest pawn shop? I was just thinking uh, that. Just <laughs> stone throw away, just just down the street. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we and, might want to pick up the headlamps too. Yeah. And since you're need to be in like, the dark and and batteries. Oh, yeah. batteries. I, I think they probably we have them already if we've been doing urban okay. spelunking before mm. because it would yeah. be quite a yeah. pain yeah. To, to get them in the middle of a snowy night yeah, yeah. i think it's standard mm. equipment mm -hmm. you do you, you, there's a pawn shop that's just down the street you, mm. but you all do like urban exploration and your paranormal youtubers would not say that it is anything outside of what you would carry around in your go yeah. bag okay. for this kind of all thing right. mm -hmm. but say gold and silver you know that kind of thing you might have to you mm. maybe have like a ring or something that mm. means something to you, but not mm. that much. That means something to us. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, most much. people. Yeah, most people don't carry around a ton of jewelry. Exactly. No, I, 
That's um, why I was that's why I was thinking the pawn shop. But that means something to somebody. Yeah, I think pawn shop is probably good. If I had something that meant something to me, I'm not going to hand it over to some money grubbing stranger. Well, mm -hmm. let's say let's say it. well let, let's say this is I'm a little bit of a numerous mismissist or whatever like that. I probably have a few silver dollars on me. What? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on a spending limit on my sheet either. So because those aren't horribly expensive, but you know they have they they do have a little bit of some metal thing since they're not made anymore. You know, if your collector is like, oh, cool, here's a yeah. Mm -hmm. Are if, they common? If you're poor, I would say that you don't have a whole lot of money to spend on jewelry or gold or silver. No, no, no. But. If you're like normal, normal kind of affluence, you know, you could average. Yeah, say that you could yeah. spend like fifty, two hundred dollars or something on some mm -hmm. gold or whatever, some cheesy jewelry. Okay, but there, right. there... yeah, I'll, I'll I'll buy a few uh gold things, a couple silver things. Yeah, I, I want to know, I, I, and I want to do see the assay test there. The what? <laughs> The assay yeah. test. SA. I want to make sure. I want to make. Uh, I, I want to make sure the gold is actually right. gold. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They no, you just drop. You just drop the check yeah. veracity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There, there's a chem whenever whenever you when you whenever you sell it to them, they'll drop a, a chemical on it depending upon the, yeah. Right. Right. And a scratch test. And I a scratch think test. they do too. Yeah, yeah. Marks, yeah, and gold, and gold is, is a soft, soft metal. Yeah, so it scratches easily. Scratch, or you can scratch it on a certain material and it the residue shows up, like the line shows up where you scratch it. Yeah. If it's real. Right. Power yeah. of science, you see. <laughs> I have no problem with the power of science. I like it. Okay, so if you're just grabbing jewelry. I, I'm gonna. I'll part with if I if I have to. I'll part with some of my silver dollars. But otherwise, um, I'll get some nice looking. We get some nice nice looking pieces of gold jewelry or a, a gold or uh, 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 probably they don't have that much silver. So gold jewelry, maybe a few uh, items like bracelets or necklaces. You know, the, the jewelry itself like that that look nice anyway. Mm. Oh, Corinne, you're loaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, silver silver is almost it's it's almost as valuable as gold these days. Like yeah. Oh uh, well, are we are we all yeah. are we playing we're playing it for completely modern time? Okay, yeah, because I mean, you know, ten years ago it wasn't that wasn't that expensive. Uh, well, no, we're, the silver. Like, that's why that's why we're buckle, going to the pawn I mean, shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you can yeah you can. It's not like buying new jewelry from a department store or something. No. It's a lot cheaper. So uh, yeah, in fact, if you. Um, I was going to say, if you do like a sense of Stygia, you might pick something up off of this jewelry. Oh, that's true. That's true. I mean, right. it's, I mean it is uh, yeah. metal, but uh, it's worth a try. I collect silver belt buckles. Pick one up yep. from every power I go to. And yep. I got a couple. You know, yeah. I'll, I'll part with those two. Yeah, I, I got this. Is there a there. carved? Yeah, you think I'll pick up some, think, some silver dollars. Is there a critical fail facility in this system? Because when I was doing my vestigia test, I got a 99. Does does that mean anything? No, I would just say that you don't pick up anything, but say that somebody picks up a piece of jewelry and like it's definitely stolen. Like it meant something to somebody, like they got it from their grandmother or whatever. Um so yeah. Just every pawn shop that you go to, there's going to be some kind mm -hmm. of jewelry that has some kind of negative juju attached to it. Mm -hmm. And yes, there there is critical failure. Zero, zero. All right. Okay. You get clubs. Saving that <laughs> for a time when it matters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But fumbling a uh, a sense vestigial, well, I don't think it's really going to hurt you. Right? No. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if that's all you want to get, because you, I would say you do have your urban explorer kind of um, go bags, and then mm -hmm. 
um, Corinne, you know, if you want to have a firearm, that's fine. You know, you didn't say yeah. you flew in or anything, just assuming that you're, since you're a PD or you were mm -hmm. a P, you are a PI that you have yeah. a firearm. Um, yeah, of course we are in New York, so we have to be, <laughs> have to be careful about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm probably have some mace or uh, a spray. Yeah, or you something. could probably pick I up something. I wouldn't carry a gun. Yeah, you could you could pick up something here, like you could probably pick up a take a, a stun gun or something like that. You know, a um, what do they call it? One of those handheld little things. Taser. Yeah, a taser. Mm. Yeah, I have the, mace, the and a mace and a mace and a screwdriver. Right. Well, right. like I said, New York. But I am uh, a, a, a private investigator. Uh, uh, at least in Detroit, I would be uh, I would be legally uh, I would have be legal to carry it. Uh, um, I don't know if I would. It depends on how often I go to New York, whether or not I would get the special license that you would need for that. But yeah, say that you're legal, but you don't have your concealed carry for New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so like I'll but I'll yeah. I'll also have some other things on, like, like on, um, like a taser, or I'm not even sure that I like tasers. But in, anyway, um, I I will have actual pepper spray, not just not not just. Uh, not, I mean, I will have actual mace, not just pepper spray. So wrapped very carefully in a bag so it doesn't leak. <laughs> yeah. A woman cannot be too careful in this city, so I bring uh, my uh, trusty screwdriver, uh, pepper mace, uh, pepper spray, uh, flashlight, mm -hmm. like a mag light. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, it's like, and, hey, it's just a flashlight. And uh, chalk. Uh, and my usual stuff, like a uh, fireball to either douse myself or someone else uh, just to uh, seem drunk. Uh, coffee. And one of these small binoculars, like mm -hmm. almost looks like a rangefinder. Great. Spy glass kind of thing yeah they're really like small telescopic. like these yeah, yeah but they're really small like this uh that's what i'm bringing because i'm i'm used to being where i'm not supposed to be there's a thing where you can they're like It's a strap around your head because it's too heavy just to put over your ears, but a strap around your head where you have like adjustable back, you know, lenses and you have filters down on them too. So she probably has that. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, but get, getting that at this hour. No, no, no. She would have it. She's a PI. Oh. Yeah. And like I said, mostly she does research and stuff like that, but occasionally she has to take the dirtier jobs, you know, so. You know, taking people out, you know. But like, the, like you all know, the subway system in down here is large. So like, where, where do we begin to look? Okay, well, let's go by... <laughs> Let's go by the reports of sightings. Is there an area that it seems to concentrate on? But is, is, is this, there an is... area where uh could be associated with uh cherry blossoms? Um, that, uh... Maybe the botanic gardens. Mm -hmm. Um hmm. but or like there's like a Japan town kind of thing, but that's mm -hmm. very it's very like urban. Um but uh, if you're going through, like, you're trying to, like, go through some of these YouTube videos or something, yeah. um, mm -hmm. say maybe just give me a, um, uh, 
like a research or observation, maybe? Same thing, I do one. Uh, 48 out of 60. 38 out of Eight. 30. Well, no, yeah, 30 observation. Research is 60, though. 18. Uh, uh, so on, uh, that's regular. So, yeah, you're looking at one of these videos where somebody is talking about their like wireless devices charging on the platform and yeah. they're kind of waving mm -hmm. their phone around and then you spot the um like the streets you know like where this mm -hmm. uh where the station is so you know you know where like where this was taken you know the exact platform okay uh yeah i got a regular on my research so I'm like I, I know where this is Another thing too is uh, um, you can enter the history of New York. Uh, some of these should have older tunnels underneath, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you and you know that there some are some of them are miles abandoned and miles. Yeah, abandoned tunnels. Some of them mm -hmm. are flooded. Um, you know that there are like whole cities of just like homeless people. You know, uh, mm -hmm. they call them mole people that are just living. Mole people. Yeah, in mm -hmm. these in these tunnels, like in various mm -hmm. parts of the cities, they have electricity, they have internet, they have. Mm -hmm. Um, the like their their main problem is getting like clean running water down there, but everything else, mm -hmm. it's like they'll come up for a while and and panhandle or something, and then go down and live under the city for weeks mm -hmm. without coming up and like mm -hmm. just having mm -hmm. a party or whatever down there or sort of living high on the hog hood rich as they call it yeah mm -hmm. may i quickly specify what i'm carrying so that um it's plausible i've got a medium-sized uh backpack which is effectively the medical bag and inside i have a waterproof bag in case we all get wet or whatever. So anything, everything is inside that. So if we end up in the mm -hmm. sewers, then it's not going to be damaged. Inside, apart from the usual medical things, I've also got um, some like candies, sort of food food rations if, if, if someone needs them, and uh, some water which is um, sterilized for cleaning with. I've got matches and candles. I have flashlight, headlight. Um, I've got a, a strong cord, which is 10 meters long, that will allow me to, uh, I mean, I don't know what we're going to be needing it for. Um, and I've got the mace and um, taser. And in fact, the um, the mace I've got easy, easy to access. It's in a pocket. And then I've got my drinking water bottle, which is which is on the outside. And that's yeah. roughly it. I don't think any of that sounds too too unusual. Yeah. And you 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 did say that you or or did you buy did you buy silver and gold or anything like that? Yeah, I've got some a few silver dollars. Yeah. So I, I would okay. say if you're you know, if you're an ER doctor and then you do this explore urban exploration stuff on the side, I would say no, that sounds too weird to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have, uh, in addition to the urban exploration stuff, I'll have, of course, PI, I'll have, um, I'll have zip ties, and, you know, zip tie handcuffs, that sort of thing like that. Uh, uh, probably like one of the disposable, you know, uh, Um, not parkas, but the, you know, raincoat things, you know, that ponchos, yeah, yeah. that sort of thing like that. Uh, it's several bags of those, so yeah, plus my, my normal coat, which is well, waterproof. I am a weapon, so. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm modest too. <laughs> yeah, I'm very modest. But martial arts teaches modesty. Um, I still think that's a great combination, capoeira and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, so you do the weird flying dance thing, and then and you're down on the ground in like like thirty seconds after that. <laughs> Are we so sure? Have you, ever, these... have you ever have you ever been to any of the Gracies? Uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. 
Gracie Virginia, Virginia. Virginia. Oh. Yeah. Are yeah. we are, are we the people sure? that founded it? Yeah. Are we sure uh these uh, ap sightings of apparitions are connected to the note we got? Hmm. We gotta start somewhere. It's certainly weird. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you're you're right. But if we to me, it kind of to... represents some thinning of the veil. You know, if there's ghosts and magic True. involved. True. 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 Uh, uh, a magical meeting place only makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Anything that doesn't work, you know, we'll do. Woo woo stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at Dr. Park. Yeah. If that doesn't work, well, tomorrow we'll hit the books to try to try to narrow stuff down where this might be a little bit better. But yeah, um, yeah, we can also do some search on things like owl delivery services <laughs> and find out oh, who might be God. if you'll just you find just out if any Harry of our Potter regular things. viewers. Yeah, we just get a lot of Harry Potter makes... stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I just had to drink water when he said that. Dang it. <laughs> Oh man! But l let me tell you, uh, uh, me having uh, used the subway out of necessity and well moved in cedar pots out of necessity, there are some really scary people down there. So, so take it easy, okay? And. Do not l let's promise each other that we do not lose each other because I don't want to be left down there. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, be careful where you put your feet because we don't want to fall through the floor or anything mm -hmm. or step and poop. No, exactly. Yeah, poop, poop is the least of our problems down, down there, I feel like. Mm. But yeah, nobody's had a line of sight. Yeah, uh, we could uh, tie a line to each other. That could also be dangerous. Yeah. Yes, it could. We could get tangled up. Uh, I don't know. Just I just yeah. uh, on shoulders would... if it gets too tight. Just be careful. That that's all. Yeah. Yeah. If we were going to tie ourselves to one another, it probably makes sense it's two and two yeah um because then if someone mm -hmm. falls there's someone else to sort of um get a grip but four people all tied to one another is um yeah no it's it's, it's, it's impractical mm. but we would yeah i mean i've got one cord here maybe someone else has um has has well, got, got something some, there i've got some cord too but yeah i mean i don't know whether we find down there i mean i guess gloves obviously we have but mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how much sort of um, abseiling or prosecuting <gasps> things, oh. whether there's like vertical shafts that we need to go down sometimes with this abseiling. It's not all escalators so. and yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think we do, but there yeah, will be ladders, see. ladders probably. Yeah, because you got mm -hmm. trying to carry trying to carry around a thousand pound test test mm -hmm. pole rope even 50 feet of it is gonna you know that's not that's not a fun thing to drag around 50 foot rope <laughs> i'm thinking about D. &D. <laughs> uh, correct correct me if i'm wrong uh because this, this is just me being a silly european the new york subway is open 24 7 right and uh -huh. operational 24 7 right Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. there are certain times that are just totally dead, you know. So, yeah, but it's the there's still part, trains right. running. Uh, yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe not where you want to be Stop. in the middle no. of the night at three in the morning, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, I did collages. I would recommend people wear wear um, rubber gloves as well. Yeah. It'd be way too easy to come in contact with something live if we go into the actual tunnels. Oh yeah, don't don't step on the third rail. 
you know, you know, or, or or those or those rubber that rubber galoshes and and gloves ain't gonna do you a bit of good. <laughs> Let's go down, uh, and yeah. I will uh, just be forewarned. I will be taking pictures, so if so, I will try to not scare you with flash or anything like that i try to, will try to use light sensitive most of the time mm -hmm. uh but just so you know because mm -hmm. i want to document when she, when she mentions flash i kind of chuckle <laughs> <laughs> another one of my little tricks i can do mm -hmm. i can uh flash really bright light mm -hmm. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Another thing to blow Dr. Park's mind. I hate him. <laughs> you want some water? No, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, I don't have an answer for it. I mean, perhaps it's a leak that you spotted in the roof of that uh, diner. But I put it in the notebook. Uh, there's. I can do it right here. The best I can do. Oh, and then Markov, when you do cast a spell, you know, if you're doing like just a regular first level aqua or whatever, it takes one point. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah, so but then you can make, you can cast it and make it much bigger, you know, like use all of your magic points, points to make it into it. it. Right. No, yeah. it's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't want you to lose your magic points. Uh. <laughs> Gonna conserve your mana for yeah the final. yeah um, <laughs> oh yeah I am I was just demonstrating how much boo boo it is <laughs> I like I just think there's a there's a lot that yeah, science yeah. yet has to explain but science will explain it we just uh, unfortunately there's a lot of people who don't really who just looking at the effects rather than sort of thinking now uh, what what's actually the cause. Of this thing, mm -hmm. but um, I mean, that we science doesn't have all the answers yet, and it never, and it never will, of course. That's the beauty. Well, of no, it. I mean, it won't have all the answers because you know there's an infinite stuff to amount of stuff to learn, exactly. but any particular it's... thing will eventually be explained if it's coming up enough, then they'll do research and so mm -hmm. on, it, unless um. Uh, civilization is not actually up to doing that kind of research and we seem to be going into some kind of post-science age at the moment which is the most worrying thing that um, yes. people look at these channels that we that we come up with and they think oh well you know um, all these things that we've that are explained they imagine sort of weird weird nonsense like the earth being flat and so on that's yeah. That's part of the real danger that we lose what the light that civilization has provided, and it you know makes actual magic users look like fools. Yeah, makes it look like superstitious hokum, which you know it's not. No, it's it's not superstitious hokum. I mean. It needs to be explained. I'm not saying, yeah, that it that what yeah, you showed wasn't real. The, uh, yeah, pseudo science stuff that you see, or the people doing fake magic online, make the rest of us actual users look bad. Yeah, I mean, I get out my notebook and I flip through some past pages very quickly, so that you can see there's there's a lot of past things that I've written down. It isn't like mm -hmm. and I don't. There's there's a few that are crossed through because I think I've got an explanation for them that satisfies me. Mm -hmm. Still, a lot I don't get. And by the way, when I cast Aqua at the restaurant, it formed between my hands, like right right between them, in mm -hmm. midair. Okay, so... Maybe some trick with soap bubbles. I don't know. Smoke and mirror, smoke and mirror. <laughs> yeah. Um. So are you all? You're all heading down right now. You heading th this evening? Okay. Mm -hmm. So say that by the time you've.
done your shopping and you had dinner and mm. uh you know went up to the hotel to freshen up and all that it's starting to get a little later you know it's like maybe around 7 seven thirty, and mm. uh as you're make your way over to this subway platform and um sure enough like you look down at your phone and then your phone is like you have like no service here strangely but it seems about, like the phone is charging okay what about Check okay this shit out. oh that's okay. the symbol for for uh, the battery charging oh, oh I, I forgot yeah. to I, I forgot to say it's like i'm passing out to everybody walkies i don't trust phones in, in some way you don't trust phones in subway Somebody might no, steal it. I mean, ah. well, not not only that is like I mean, that's how many layers of uh, of concrete between you and the cell towers. Oh, yeah, oh, the signal you mean? Yeah, yeah. There's repeat repeat is down here. Uh, I still don't. I, 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 this is just a plan, and I will. Uh, I'm like I said. I'm ha I ha I'm handing out uh, walkies. So. Yeah, are you are you have Good a signal? Idea. It's just it's incredibly weak. But you mm -hmm. look at your phone, and sure enough, your phones are charging. I'm what about not as curious. Let, let, let's, again. Yeah, let's let's do a test. Let me do a test also too. It's like, are the walkies working? Totally different technology. Yeah, it's it's they're sounding a little staticky, a little a little strange and staticky. But they're probably a little stronger. Okay, all right. And I got a. Hard on my sense of vestigia. Yeah, probably better do that soon. Uh, oh dear. I failed mine. I think I, I think I used up all my good rolls. I failed mine. Um, yeah, so again, you're kind of getting that it's like that same thing, like you're getting that smell of the cherry blossoms, and then you're mm -hmm. getting that weird, like kind of chemically static electricity taste in your mouth. And um mm -hmm. But I would say that you you pick up um, that it's like this um, this energy is sort of stronger, like down the tracks, like there seems to be okay. a direction where it's sort of coming from. Yeah, I was I was gonna say I'm like turning like this, trying to see where it's strongest, so I know where it's coming from, the strongest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I think we're in the right place. He's coming down these tracks right here. Whatever. Are there a lot? I can't of, smell are there anything. a lot of uh, passengers or people using the subway right now? Yeah, you see, there's just it's like people that are getting off work or whatever. It's a fair amount of fair amount of people, but then they're like. You see some of these people are like looking at their phones like, oh, I got no service, but at least my phone's charging, you know, trying to get on the Internet or something to mm -hmm. do, do some uh, scrolling. You, uh, you... I'm not trying to look look uh, conspicuous. I'm trying to look inconspicuous and try to slowly edge my way to the one end of the platform, you know, where there's this metal grid fence to protect from people jumping down on the tracks right mm -hmm. uh and to see if and try to signal to the others to mm -hmm. to follow me yeah okay. um so you could do you could do a stealth roll i do ooh Keepers. Yeah, 91 is not going to cut it. Oh, gee. Where's my stealth there? 59, just barely. I 20. failed mine. I'm not famous for my stealth. 28, I 13, so. 20, 28 out of 60. So that's a hard for you, right? Yes. Um, but you didn't say that you were said that you were just going to get down there and kind of signal to the others. like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. follow me. I'm moving inconspicuously there 
Yeah. I'm, I'm walking along a platform and I'm not trying to do it in a stealthy way because I think a stealthy way is more suspicious. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. trying to be aware of where the cameras are that mm -hmm. they oh, have yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Amelia, say that you get down there easy enough and then um, you're mm -hmm. kind of like trying to find your way around this thing and you hear yeah. a train coming. You know? Yep. Yeah. So I'll pull her up. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. She's she's she does she, all she has to do is kind of lean back to get out of the way, you know. Like there's mm -hmm. plenty of room. Mm -hmm. Um but there's you this the train like comes in and it comes to a stop on yeah. on the platform, but you're down on the tracks. And um and then the um the train opens up, everybody gets off and goes straight up the stairs. Nobody really hangs around. And then everybody that was on the platform files onto the train. Yeah. And then the train, you know, st uh, starts to move again after a short stop, except for all of you. And then there's there's different uh, trains that come through here, you know, but there isn't really, not really anybody left on the platform. Come on, hurry. And uh, okay. so, yeah. uh, watch out for the surveillance cameras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I was hoping down. for. Yeah. I wasn't trying to look, I wasn't trying to like, look like I was sneaking or anything, trying to sneak from place to place. So I was just keeping aware of the cameras. Mm -hmm. So you would be, you would be trespassing, but with Amelia's help, because Amelia is good at trespassing, you, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, you manage to kind of uh, go around or or cover your cover your faces or whatever when you're yeah when you're going past mm -hmm. near a camera, mm -hmm. um and yeah Morgan you're you're definitely picking up you're you're picking up this this smell you know and then you're you're like all the signs are kind of pointing in this one direction like further down the the tunnel. Oh yeah, we're getting close. We're definitely on the right track, so to speak. <laughs> Pun not intended, right, Morgan? Never yeah. can tell. <laughs> and then you come up on a door that looks like kind of like an industrial kind of access door to some other subtunnel kind of thing. But it's like that's kind of where the trail ends. Mm -hmm. Is that door locked? It is. May I try my key? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. And yeah, sure enough, your key is the one. It looks, it has that industrial kind of look to it. It's a big, big piece of metal. And then you just opens up the door just fine. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. and then when you when you open up the door, um, you do like there's there are lights that like the tunnel is is lit. Um, and it has those kind of like, uh, uh, just like industrial kind of lights that are down there and it seems to just keep going down, but then you notice something strange as you're looking down there, you're seeing all of these, uh, like, um, uh, it looks like the, the tunnel was sort of dug out almost further by, by like rats or something like there's, uh, you see lots of rats down here and then the tunnel is it's almost like they're um digging into the walls and, and sort of expanding this tunnel mm. we we see actual rats yeah there's rats lots of lots of them like well it's like you you see a few but you know that if you see one that there's probably 10 that you aren't seeing yeah mm -hmm. and new york has a rat problem now doesn't it like oh, I think that life. there's there's like is something like ten to one rats or like it's some crazy number. Like there's way more rats in New York than there are humans. Oh mm. yeah, but and also it's winter, so they will look for the tunnels to uh, keep warm. But uh, what concerns me is if my gut feeling is that it's like you know an indiana jones horde of rats or like the floor is moving it, it's it's not that much 
not necessarily moving, but you do, you're like, you look into the little, like there, um, the, there's, you're, you're pretty sure that this might be going down towards the sewer because you're getting that kind of smell as well. Mm. And then you like, you know, that the rats kind of congregate in places like this because it's warm and they have Mm -hmm. like a food source, um, and there's like little little um, pipes and stuff like that, good places for them to hide. But y- you see them, there are definitely rats down here. And you're pretty sure that for every one that you see, there are a lot that you're not seeing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But unless, uh, they, look, unless they look like they're suspiciously intelligent, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, we've got, we've got things to produce bright lights. We've got things to produce sound. How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you decide if they look smart? Are they wearing, having smartphones or? Yeah. (laughs) They seem like they're kind of watching you a little bit, but it could just be because you're in their home. They they act like, they they act like Ben or Willard in the movies. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah. I was going to say, you ever see that movie, Ben? Yeah. (laughs) They're my friends. I, I'm taking care not to step on them. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sure. And where I put my hands, I want to be careful that I'm not sort of yeah. There isn't a rat on the wall or mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. We 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 really don't want to get bitten by these things, nope. folks. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Right. And there's some railing that kind of goes down this staircase, you know, further mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. Um, but it seems like the rats are sort of almost like reclaiming this from the human world and why not (laughs) they're welcome we're not using this anyway (laughs) yeah all right so yeah i'm taking pictures of the rats sorry i'm Mm -hmm. taking pictures of the rats naturally yeah Mm -hmm. um as you're going further down this tunnel though it is obvious that something has been digging down here and digging out this tunnel, like making it larger. And you're seeing like claw marks in these walls. And uh, and it almost looks like it's been sort of machined, like in a way, like deliberately dug out to be larger. Mm. Mm. Something's been at work down here. At a timely moment, could we have a short break, please? Yeah, let's do that. How about right now? Minutes or so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, baby. How how long? Ten minutes. Ten minutes 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 is good. good. Thank you. Yeah. Remind me when we get back on to the pauses. Go ahead. Okay. I I so, will mark. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I want to begin with asking question. This is just a straight tunnel, right? There's no forks or anything. Well, so as you're going down further, it's like you're going down into a sewer, right? That's mm-hmm. kind of connected to this subway tunnel, and you can hear the water, like you can smell it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh. And then, but it looks like something is making this tunnel larger. And there's, it's already a substantial size, but it's like there's like claw marks and stuff like in the walls. And it looks like some of it's decay, but. When you say um, claw marks, claw marks mm-hmm. the size of rats or something bigger? Bigger, something bigger. bigger. Yeah. And by sewer, like, where sewage, the poop and stuff goes, or like a storm drainage system, or um, the street runoff. Maybe a little in. bit of both. Yeah, maybe a little bit of both. Oh, <laughs> watch where you step, folks. Watch where you step. Yeah, it doesn't smell. Doesn't smell very good. Yeah. Um, I kind of put my like this a little I, bit. I, will, I, don't, I don't want I, to smell this shit. Yeah, I, I put up my uh, I have mm-hmm. like almost a balaclava, the bottom part of a balaclava, and pull it up 
to cover my nose and mm -hmm. uh, take pictures of these claw marks. I was just about to uh, ask you. Thank yeah. you. We need data for all of yeah. these phenomena. Uh, and this is something you. concrete. Mm -hmm. pun, pun not intended again, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're taking pictures, I put my hand beside the claw marks in comparison. Yeah, yeah. Great, for great. a size uh, scale. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to ask the doctor for some Vicks, but uh, for my nose. But yeah. I'm not sure. But on the I other hand, fireball. we might, we, we might want to be able to spell. We I have fireball. To... <laughs> mm. <laughs> what is fireball? I don't know what that is. Cinnamon it's, uh, whiskey. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really potent smelling. It's also Ooh. when you when you drink it, um, it make sure not to touch your face, you know, like your eyes. Oh, shit, yes. Um, I, I, dated, I dated a girl and she got pretty sick off of this stuff. And she oh god threw up a little bit in her mouth and then tried to wipe her oh. tears out of her eyes and it was like it she's like it burns it burns yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah uh we made milkshakes out of that stuff so it's potent yeah. horrible hmm. I'll probably uh, have to throw it away but I'm gonna bring out one of those little classical drinking cups pretty little there I'm curious it's cinnamon booze strong yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah well like i said and, and after you say that it's like she's never had it so pour, pour a little in the, the just the, the collapsible cup there <laughs> yeah doesn't taste very good <laughs> mm, yeah don't think i'll be buying this it's not it's not just cinnamon it's cinnamon it's like hot you know yeah. Like spicy hot too. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If I'm gonna go yeah. for cheap booze, I'll go. If I'm gonna go for cheap booze, I'll go for Thunderbird, uh, 2020 or mm -hmm. Thunderbird or Mad Dog 2020 or whatever it is. The first. Thing. <laughs> no, but, but, it, but it's but it's great to like spill uh, because it's so strong smelling. It's great to spill mm -hmm. uh, on your clothes if if you want to come off as drunk. Oh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we in my profession, for... I don't find out from when I come out process drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. When you walk into the ER. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Uh, is no, it so... I uh, will take the mask, the, though. Is the tunnel so uh, narrow that we have to have a marching order? No, no. It just, um, it's actually opening up. Like, it's opening up the further that you go in. Mm-hmm. I think we're getting very close. And you you think that maybe you hear some music and then smell some other smells besides the sewage and like drain runoff. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out a compass. What direction are we going? Or is it working? Um, I would say that you're going oh. um, north, but it's kind of like a little. It's kind of doing that thing where it's like kind of wobbling mm -hmm. a little bit. Checking phone signal. Nope, nobody has a signal. Okay, just checking. Good to know. What about the uh, the walkies? Are they still semi-operational? Um, you're getting a lot of static. Like each time that you try, you try to talk. Mm -hmm. You know, talk into it, and mm -hmm. it's just you're getting like that kind of feedback, and then the static mm -hmm. sound. Still functional, but like barely. You said we heard mm -hmm. traces of music. Mm -hmm. uh, is it like techno dance music or is it old timey music? Old or time, yeah. It... Sounds like a sitar or something, some kind of a strange like string instrument. Probably one of the mole people or we're getting close to the night market. Some old hippie down here, mm -hmm. probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. W wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. at all. Nice of him to make uh, them to make the music. Mm -hmm. 
Now what? Okay, he had the big key. Who has the like the locker size key? I think that was you. I think you had the locker Maybe, size. Okay. Key. And then what are the other two ones? Um, like kind of medium sized, um, like a open up a uh, either like a large padlock or a regular sized door. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and then one of them was let's see. One of them looks like smaller, like a uh, like a, a mailbox or something like that, you know. Okay. Uh, what do we do if we come across anything down here? Gather data. Gather data, take photos. But if there's people that don't... If nobody freaks out. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we need to, to some extent, play it by ear. I think we, ha we, we have got mm. defences here. I think we're... Mm -hmm. None of us are idiots. We're all going to sort of act with. We're not going to provoke a fight. Mm -hmm. No, oh, oh, no, no definitely not. Or any aggression. I mean, if we see someone down here, then it's not a good idea to stare at mm -hmm. any peculiarities. I mean, it's just you, you know standard operating procedure for the subway in some ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make eye contact. Does anybody know? Does anybody know anybody that might live down here? That we can ask about. Mm -mm. Amelia? I'm just a college kid. Not a kid, but you know. Mm -hmm. student. Yeah. All right. Amelia, do you know anybody that might live that might occasionally live down here? Uh, all right. If I was a city doctor, then maybe I would, but um, no, I mean, I've, I've got country mm -hmm. practice. Yeah, or you're in Chicago. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it's a, you, you can, the, uh, the tunnel seems to be opening up and then you hear like a little bit of music and you smell like, you think you smell like something cooking. It's a funky like off kind of smell, but it does smell like it's on fire, like some kind of meat on fire. Mm -hmm. Gamey, very gamey smell. <laughs> not, rat. Not, yeah, rat. Well, yeah, beggars, you might not want to eat anything somebody gives you. Nah. Uh, beggars can't be choosers, right? I see There's to it. Meat. Uh, yeah. I, I see to it that I have my. Uh, pepper spray, uh, easily accessible mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. in my pocket, uh, just in case, uh, and the camera in my other hand, mm -hmm. and continue to take a picture now and then of the whole group and of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. And I'll be more, I'll be making marks along the way. So. Yeah, it'd be nice if there's a portrait of the four of us. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Sure, but you're kind of like marking where you came from with the chalk, yeah. like, yeah, so you don't get lost. Yeah, mm -hmm. leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. Yeah, and I'm looking back every so often to just clock what the passage looks like if we were approaching it from the other direction. So just as a backup to the chalk thing in case the chalk gets washed off or whatever, so that it's not like we're going down mm. a labyrinth and not going to be able to recover. Mm -hmm. Well, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm scratching off. Uh, uh, I'm sure there's gunk along the walls. I'm going to like... Like use a thing and kind of scratch, scratch into that, scratch like AS to be a smart ass. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a fair amount of graffiti. I get that. Yeah, there's a fair <laughs> amount of graffiti down here. Let's see if I have anything. 
na <laughs> Or you Arnie Kareem. I think that's his name. Arnie or something of Sack Newsom as a yeah. Arnie Sack Newsom, that's the guy. Yeah. But hopefully we aren't going as far as he did. Yeah, we're really. like <laughs> I don't get the reference. Uh, Journey to the center of the earth. Of the oh, earth. Okay. Ah, ah. So we go down and then we come up a volcano, Vesuvius or something. <laughs> right. We haven't heard any dinosaurs yet. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh, well, that's not actually in, that's none of that stuff's in the book. It's, it's very dry compared to but, like the stuff they made out of it. So I only remember the movie. Watched it a few times when I was a kid. Yeah. Does it? Sm uh, uh, this gamey cooking meat smell. Uh, is it overpowering or is it, or is it subtle? It's just like a kind of an off smell, but it's combining with the smell of like sewage and yeah. stuff like that. It's not pleasant. <laughs> yeah. No. I have a question mm -hmm. is like, does it smell like they dressed whatever this is or fuel dressed it or are we smelling singed fur as well? Or singed hair as well? Mm -hmm. No, it's like you're not not getting fur. It's not it's not like burning hair, but you do smell. So they, they have they have sort of fuel dressed it. OK, all right. Yeah. At least a little bit. Yeah. Any flickering light ahead? Uh, yes. Yeah. You, there's, you know, um, uh, as you're you're going down the tunnel, mm -hmm. you know, you've got mm -hmm. your flashlights out and all that. And then there's these little bit of electric lights that are every once that are kind of uh, throughout the tunnel. Mm -hmm. But um, you, you know, as it as it opens up, you're you're kind of seeing a little bit of a light coming from the water. Um, mm. and mm. actually, if anybody mm. wants to do an observation roll, you can do yep. an observation roll. Oh, one. Oh, that's much better. Okay, 24. I'm not <laughs> um, yeah, I failed. so <laughs> you see something, and it's a good, yeah, perfect, perfect person to see this. Uh, you see something, and uh, it kind of like it looks like the water like almost forms into the shape of like some kind of an eel and then pops out of the water and snatches a rat out from the side of the water's edge and then pulls it back into the water. Wow. Hmm. What? What? That yeah. seemed like a, a, an, a fish made of water. I guess we didn't capture that on the camera, Amelia. Did you happen to have hmm. the video on? No, but no. I mean, it just, that is, that's gonna take several lines in my book. <laughs> I'll write it down. And let's watch out to see if it comes back. It was like a water creature came and caught a rat. There, there, there's snakes and eels down here? Well, it was a long sinewy kind of fish thing. I wouldn't, um, but then it, it's made of water. It, you can't see it in there. That was the mm. illusion that I had. I guess. Um, um, it, uh, yeah, I mean, you've got the. I'm not sure that AI technology really, I don't see the billionaires making stuff like that. I have to yeah. say. That's, yeah. uh, obviously, a lot of these things can be put down to technology. But I, I, um, I think we've all heard about alligators in the sewers and shit. And yeah. Yeah. And in the yeah. turtles and whatnot. Uh, yeah, maybe that was it. I think you're probably right. Although it seemed a bit sinewy for an alligator, you know. Yeah, um, it, it, it's like I said, you in the water, sinuous, well, you got rather. the impression you just got the impression of movement. You didn't really see it till it popped out of the water. And like he's right, it looked yeah. like you could see through it, but it yeah. kind of looked like shape. But the water. eyes play funny tricks. They, uh, as we all know. 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Nevertheless, that's certainly one for the book. Point where it was, and I'll take a picture. I do. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking around to see if I can see anything else in the water, it's shining a light on the the water. Although I'm not sure I'd want to attract this thing, really. Yeah. Um, and so looking down at the water, the water is it's a combination of like it it's sort of like murky and then sparkling blue in other places and uh and i think you're sort of you know like you're you're looking in the water into like some of these murky spots to see if you see anything moving and then you almost see like a like a face sort of drift through the water um, I point that out to Amelia. Right, I'm Just point clear. quickly, click, take click, a shot. Click, 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 no. click, 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 click. I have my camera at the ready all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thought I saw a face. Try to anyway, we can look later. Yeah. Preview. Yeah, perhaps. I, I, I'll, I'll, we'll look at it later. Yeah. yeah I'm looking yeah. around for any signs. Yeah, it's not look at, as the tunnel's opening up. Yeah, yeah. As you keep going in this direction, you're, you, you know, the you're seeing that the tunnels like seem to be opening up more and more as as you go further, and then you're hearing more of this music and, you know, smelling cooking meat and, kind of like maybe some voices and stuff like that. Can I uh, make an estimation how much people like? Is it like a, a dozen, 20, 50? Just, oh, just an estimation? Like, just a few. Just a few people kind of talking. It's kind of a little echoey down here. Yeah. A little hard to tell. But not like a not like 50, you know. No. Or a dozen. So a handful of people. Should we? Okay, question. uh, Yeah. Are we going to say we're looking for the night mark? If this Mm. does not appear to be the night mark. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. All right. Uh, Also, also. Yeah. This is just a general question. Mm Hmm. Should we try to be quiet from now on, or should we be open that we're coming? Hmm. We're expected. Yeah, we are yeah. expected. You're, yeah, uh, I, that's a fair yeah. point. I think that's we should be open. Point. Yeah, and they'll know our faces anyway. I mean, they found us on the streets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fair I mean, point. This might, didn't think yeah, this might not be them, but they might have told people to look out for us. So. They probably already see us right now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I, I think we should be point. open. We were cordially invited, whatever that means. Mm-hmm. And um, I think we need to take that in that spirit. Absolutely. Um, certainly want to, don't want to project hostility or fear. Or yeah, anything, come in like or, these. Or, or, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, but it's a good question. So we 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 continue on, mm-hmm. marking the wall, taking pictures, see to that we don't step on water eels. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you, and. But I'm... I'm going to be on the little ledge, not yeah. in the water, if at all possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in here. Well, and it's getting easier too because the tunnel is getting bigger, and then this. Um, but it does seem like this water may be getting a little clearer as you go on. Like it's kind of even looking nice and uh, mm-hmm. possibly even drinkable, or it's like kind of shimmery. You know, it looks so the smell is going away a little bit. The sewage smell is going away. And then this tunnel is opening up more and more 
Um, and you're even you're you might even start to get a little hint of a cherry blossom smell um, as you keep going. And uh, and then you see some like a group of people kind of huddled around something like some kind of a hibachi. Um, mm -hmm. And then they look like they're cooking something and they look like they look like homeless people, you know, kind of uh, like gathered around this uh, hibachi, just kind of talking. Say so they look like almost like people. What is it that doesn't look like people? Homeless, homeless people. Oh, homeless. Okay. Homeless. Yeah. Not oh, homeless. homeless. That's how like you said almost. <laughs> Me too. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> right. Well, that's what I know, thought I heard too. Maybe if you get a closer look, I don't know. Uh, but they're they're not dressed nice. They're dressed like, um, like they live down here. They're pretty dirty. In mm -hmm. toques and coats and uh, scarves and right. But it looks like some of it could have been scavenged or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not dressed like surface dwellers, I guess. No, no. Mm. So, um... so almost people. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> right. So that's a terrible way to describe someone, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> sort of subhuman. No, I <laughs> homeless people are not subhumans. Yeah, don't wanna. I mean, we're all humans, unless we're and, not. Um, <laughs> then, then it's probably fey folk. <laughs> oh. yeah, they, they don't seem hostile or anything. And then you hear you you hear some of this music kind of coming from like further away. Um, but the tunnels have opened up a lot. Like this is, this, they're getting big, and right. uh, and it seems like it's opened up into another, you know, passageway. Um, and as you're going down, you're kind of like marking with chalk, mm -hmm. like on the walls, like making sure that you don't lose your way, and you kind of twist mm -hmm. and turn a little bit as you, and you're going yeah. further mm -hmm. down, like the the water mm -hmm. following the the water, you know, further down. Mm -hmm. Well, when they see us, um, we'll address them, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you're kind of walking towards them. They don't really seem to, like, uh, give you any nasty looks or anything. Don't seem hostile. Just kind of mm -hmm. huddled around this, whatever they're cooking. <laughs> yeah, and we're, we're not trying to be quiet, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess when we get up there, we'll start this Excuse me, we don't mean to, we don't mean to bother you, uh, but we're looking for the night market. And they they kind of look at you and nod. They're like, "Well, you're you're in the right place. Just if you keep keep going down this way, um, if you're if you're looking to trade or or, or whatnot, uh, do you want to? Do you have anything to trade? Uh, we think so. Uh, uh, hope so. Yeah. What are you uh what are you looking for? Answers, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're that looking nice. for us. Uh, but you 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 don't want uh you you aren't looking for like magical items or anything. Well, we were invited, so we were to speak. invited, so we don't mm -hmm. really know exactly what, what we're looking for. Oh, so it's your first time here. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, uh, and they, they kind of like seem a little co like uh, convivial, like they have like a, a gallon of orange juice down there and they're and then like a, you know, a bottle of uh, vodka, like making mm -hmm. screwdrivers and stuff. And then whatever mm -hmm. is on the sabachi, it does it like it looks like it could be possibly some kind of a massive cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> like a gigantic like a huge cockroach um mm -hmm. but they're treating it like it's a massive lobster uh and then you know as you as you get a look at one of these you know one of these people he almost looks a little bit more like a troll like um he's you know he has these kind of like growths on his face 
And if you saw him on the surface, you maybe wouldn't stare. But since you're right here, just like looking at them face to face, he, like he kind of fits the description, like a little bit of gray skin and then kind of like some some strange lesions on his face and stuff. Uh, very angular, I guess. Right. Maybe like a little horn yeah. kind of popping out, you know, here. Yeah, now we're in conversation with them. It gives me a chance, an opportunity to sort of um, look at these folk and uh, from a medical perspective and to see if there's any obvious um, um, issues or health defects they may have down here. Because I imagine they're, mm. they're, it's difficult to get a doctor yeah, yeah, I think you would call it like really bad cystic acne, and then maybe like a little bit of a hunchback, and uh, and then what do you call like a horn? What do you call a or like uh, a dermal, one... like some dermal, yeah, and like one gigantic tooth kind of coming out this side. Mm. <laughs> Are they all, do they all look like that, or just the one? There's there's a couple of them, you know, that like. N- look like they're in kind of various stages of this yeah. stuff uh one younger right. you know one like younger guy who who seems to be just kind of dirty <laughs> okay. and so they but they are getting orange juice so that's good yeah uh, they're, it looks like they're drinking screwdrivers they're drinking vodka and orange juice yeah no but the main thing scurvy. is they don't the main the main thing is they're not going to be getting scurvy hopefully yeah Lemmy was uh, the Motorhead singer. He was forced to, in his last years, to forced to switch from uh, Jack and Coke to Jack and Orange Juice for the vitamin. So, <laughs> mm. uh, GM, yeah, I no. want to roll a slate of slight of hand to um, take a picture of them without them noticing. Um, sure, yeah. Oh, no. I hope you succeed. I just passed 58 out of 60. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hold it up just in case. Um, so, as you're, you know, you're you're sort of messing with your camera, yeah. Right. And then like this one of these guys like takes a look over at you and uh and and then he like puts his hand on the camera. Not not like he's gonna take it from you, but just, just like yeah, to cover it. Yeah, and, and he's like, Don't 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 take my picture. Oh 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 I, I wasn't gonna going to. Uh I wasn't going to. Uh I was uh taking pictures of those claw marks in the walls earlier mm-hmm. that's why i have it out i'm i'm sorry i w- i wouldn't do it without your consent i i promise oh well that's uh that's yunaga's doing who's yunaga she's always making the casino bigger mm. casino yunaga mm-hmm. who's yunaga Oh, she's one of the big, big wigs down here. One of the high fae, the, uh, the, uh, I guess you call them elves. Okay. Elves. Like mm-hmm. in, uh, Dungeons and Dragons elves or? Well, she, she's the, she's the leader of the, uh, one of the trade guilds. Trade guild. Okay. The, the, okay. the spice, the spice guild. Mm-hmm. Okay. Controls the universe, then. Yeah, mm-hmm. the spice must flow. Oh, uh, she's she's powerful. She's a big wig. Mm-hmm. Controlling the spice, I can see so. Um, are you guys in a guild? No, we just come here to uh, mm-hmm. to trade. You know, socialize. Uh, mm-hmm. It's awful cold up. You know, up there. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, you're not kidding. You're not really. Yeah, and it's lots of snow. Uh 
what would I roll against to, I don't know, that would be research or just intelligence? What would I roll against to see if I recognize that name? Oh, Yunaga? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that I think me. that would be, um, let's see. I think it would be research. God, okay. Well, I'm sorry, thank you. Mm. It's probably the same thing anyway, so. Okay, uh, 24. So that's is, is that a hard hard success? Yes, that's a, that's hard success at sixty. Yeah. Um, there isn't much information to be found, you know, like on the the internet or whatever. But the name rings a bell. Like you, um, like uh, you you know that there are different uh, courts, and there's like the um, uh, like in your your research about the Fae and stuff like you've heard of uh, the winter court and the summer court and the spring court. And you know that there's like the name rings a bell and it has to do with the spring court. Ah, oh, mm. cherry blossoms. Okay. Um, uh, above <laughs> ground, I'm a doctor. If any of you folk have any health issues or first aid that you need right now, I'd be very happy to um, uh, to have a look and um, and uh, give a professional diagnosis. And I guess you might not get to see doctors so often. Yeah, and one of them kind of looks at the other. He's like, show me your foot. Uh, and then mm -hmm. like the guy starts to kind of unlace his boot. And it almost just like pours out of the boot because it's like uh, taken the shape of this thing, like his toes have like clubbed together and they're all swollen and stuff. And you know Ooh. that this is definitely gout, but um, but it's also kind of like strange mutant gout. <laughs> but it's okay. like, his foot is definitely like huge and swollen. Um, and he looks like he might be having a little trouble walking on it. Is there anything that you uh, would recommend? Or... Yeah, well, I think, uh, and I give sort of normal gout, um, sort of palliative or uh, recommendations. I don't know whether it should be tied up so tightly as this, or maybe you can find a slightly bigger boot you, find, you might find more comfortable. I have some pills that um, that I can give, and you want to make sure that you're that in your diet as much as you can, you're sticking off various things. And I sort of give them recommendations, the kind of things you should eat. Do make sure that you're getting plenty of water to drink and so on. And I'll give him some... Uh, non-alcohol if possible yeah which which may not be so cheerful down here but i mean mm -hmm. i'm just saying what the medical facts are but um i'll also if if i've got some pills or vitamins or whatever that i can um that i can hand out i mean so just do a decent a decent job and make sure that there's no sort of um infection there or um, um from from blisters from being in, a, in this very tight boot mm -hmm. so i'll do a decent job get to spend 10 10 15 minutes on that yeah and he and, seems and yeah. there's torian oh, i'm sorry go ahead oh uh he seems like genuinely appreciative just like he uh doesn't really um take much heed to the not drinking anymore part but he's like <laughs> vitamins fresh water fresh vegetables like you know <laughs> yeah but, uh, yeah like, well i'll give him some some vitamins and i on medicine i rolled not, 32 yeah, out of 60 so it's a reasonable yeah you probably don't have it all pure at all or whatever like that but he, maybe he can get in the clinic mm -hmm. yeah yeah definitely gout though it's it's absolutely yeah. gout yeah i've got a couple questions first one does kareem share what she knows about uh what she looked the research role was for i i, I the spring I, court i i will a little more a little more a little bit away from there yeah okay uh second question did the handwriting on the letters look feminine uh it looked very flowery and ornate um but hard to tell like like cursive you know, and kind of mm -hmm. like not yeah. shorthand, not like you have never seen anybody actually write this way, almost like calligraphy or something like that. 
but hard to tell whether it was male you know, or female. It was um, handwritten. Something like you would expect like from printed. an elf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, handwritten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I Something... guess if you were trying to imagine how an elf would write, mm -hmm. this is what it would probably look like. Oh, good okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's probably who wrote the letters in. For a robot. I mean, there's no problem with, <laughs> with AIs having very good handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> or a robot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling I'm telling you the stuff you're coming up with is weirder than magic. <laughs> Excuse no, me. No, no, this technology oh moves so fast now. Yeah, and that guy, yeah. that guy that you thought was a troll, he just had gout, okay? He's just homeless. He has gout and bad nutrition. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <a> robot. <laughs> yeah. God. Uh, excuse me, sirs. Uh, oh, Jesus. How, how long ago was it you <gasps> were up there? Like, on the surface? Mm, it's been like, and then the, 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 like, the youngest guy, he's like, oh, I was up there, like, last week, you know, when the snow started falling. Mm -hmm. Man, it was really coming down. It's cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it really is. Uh, the reason I'm asking is because people up there have been seeing ghosts oh ghosts, is it something huh? you've seen seen down here hmm yeah yeah do you think uh you did you say you were invited yeah mm -hmm. yeah you think that maybe Sean. you yeah you got you got an invitation like a yeah show them the letter Oh yeah, that's definitely one of those elves. Uh, could be, could be Unaga, could be, could be one of the other elves. Unaga. You know, they, mm -hmm. they're uh, they're having the uh, the winter ball. Uh, it's um, mm. yeah, Unaga. She's always she's always trying to impress the uh, the other courts. You know, maybe making some kind of a power grab or something. Uh, mm. She has these elaborate balls during all of the solstices. But this one would be the winter, the winter solstice ball. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, There'd be a lot of winter court there. Well, uh, is there anything else that you might recommend that we uh, do pay attention to when we go there? Or? Well, you know, uh, you don't fit in, really. I mean, you don't look like the type. Uh, People, mm -hmm. you know, you're not uh you're not elves, you're not uh fae folk like you know, you're not uh trolls like us or uh uh maybe just uh I don't know, try and blend in a little. He says troll like okay. Trolls, <laughs> elves. <laughs> All right, magic is real, so well, why not trolls and elves? Not to make you guys feel bad. I just you know, but to wrap my head around. Yeah, the uh, guy with like the giant tooth, he's like, no, I'm taken. Mm -hmm. It's probably a cult name or a gang name, really. And obviously, uh, um, this guy has not received the orthodontal treatment that he needed when he was younger. Yeah, what no, I, I think late. he's, I think he's talking literally, man. Yeah, watch out uh, for those uh, skinheads and the, uh, the MS thirteen, they're real nasty, you know, nasty games. Mm. Mm. Yes, I, uh... thank you. Uh, so, okay. what are the do's and don'ts, like etiquette wise, being uh, uh, being human, should the, you not eat their food in the night food uh, market? Yeah, and they kind of look at each other when you mention like not eating the food, you know, and they're like, "Well, it's up to you." Okay. Uh, but I think that you have heard, like you've heard this, like this folklore, like don't eat their food because mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. normal food won't taste as good anymore. You'll just, you'll want to come back and like, you're like, you, um, <laughs> you'll be eating like your favorite food and it won't taste like anything anymore. Mm -hmm. 
No. So um, what, what's the etiquette? What What's acceptable behavior down here? Uh, since we don't want to get in trouble with anybody. Hey, cool. Just mind your manners. Just be friendly okay. and cordial. All right. All right. Oops. Usually do that. Good to those, know. Uh, those elves, you know, they appreciate good manners. Right. Okay. We will have well, we shouldn't. Should we bring gifts? We didn't bring anything. No. Other than uh, trade right. items. Yeah. Yeah. Just do make sure bow? that you don't. You make sure you don't stare. Yeah, you could bow. You could okay. bow. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that expected? Mm. Just show Bowing. respect. Okay. Okay. Be That's all like I would ask. I don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what if we? Why don't we make our way down the direction that they pointed out to us? Yeah, yeah. Thanks uh, for your help, fellas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Give them some thank money. Thank you very much. No, oh, thank that's you. That's for, you know, that's for the help. Take yeah, care of yourselves. Like the, the guy that you gave the pills to, you know, he kind of like shakes the bottle like you're, you know, appreciates you. <laughs> uh, we don't really have anything, you know, like we're, we, I give you something if I had it, but I, I don't, you know. Uh, like you, you gave us information. You, you've given us information. Yeah, that's worth a lot. Believe it or not. Yeah. But uh, you know, don't uh, don't be too trusting. You know. Uh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some some of the the folk down here. They're they're good folk, and they're. Uh, they, you know, they're they're kind and uh, caring, but some people just just watch out. Don't 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 trust anybody mm. that's trying to sell you anything or mm, keep your head on your shoulders. Side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotcha. I, I, thanks a lot. Very much. Yeah. Thanks a lot, and uh, we might be seeing you on our way out. Hopefully, mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Yep, and what I'm kind of you know yeah. holds up his uh his like screwdriver and then like like he's gonna cheers with you but he's like oh but you don't drink All right <laughs> <laughs> but when we get if to, i see you guys again to... i'll bring you some fast food or something yeah, yeah. oh yeah some mcdonald's like one of those breakfast mm -hmm. sandwich things oh yeah. man yeah. i kill for an egg mcmuffin mm -hmm. all right i'll try to make it down sometime then when oh, we yeah. get to yeah. ways when we get a ways away, I will say, okay, I think the cherry blossom is being explained. Uh, yeah. It took me oh, a little bit of racking my memory, but Unaga is associated with spring court, so cherry blossoms. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this And is, the handwriting was kind of elaborate. This hmm. is kind of a lot for me to wrap my head around elves and stuff like I guess but yeah it's one thing hearing about them it's another thing as seeing them yeah I mean yeah well we just saw some trolls so <laughs> yeah, they, they, they called themselves that they were nice they called themselves trolls I mean they, they were nice people but I, I mean I think um it's this sort of identification with uh, the concept of a troll is um, perhaps it's psychologically healthy way to survive if one has uh, some facial abnormalities, but uh, there's no actual trolls. And the elves, uh, I mean, I guess it's some kind of internet group of people, maybe a bit of body modification that they're doing. I mean, uh, Lord of the Rings was a very influential movie. And in some ways, the world of... The world of the Lord of the Rings is a lot more attractive than the one we actually live in. So yeah. it's not really, yeah, middle it's not really surprising cool. people, <laughs> people would identify in this way. I mean, yeah. there's uh, not to kink shame or anything. There's people <laughs> pretending to be vampires, and <laughs> yeah, why why not why not trolls? Uh, yeah, why not okay. exactly? I mean, right. it's, it's a tough world. Whatever you need to sort of. Well, yeah, it's a lot easier to adjust one's own internal mental architecture than to change the yeah. state of the world. Yeah, so uh, why uh, not? Of if course, it makes you happy, of course you, 
Of course, you do know that there are supposed to be vampires as well, actually. <laughs> oh, and if I see one, it'll go in my little book until I've figured it out. <laughs> so did we see anything else as we continue down that tunnel? Yeah, so where, it's where turning said... into more of like, you know, as you, you come off this like side street <laughs> for, or side tunnel, as for lack of a better word, it's turning into more of like a bustling kind of marketplace. And then these, it just opens up like the tunnel uh, gets pretty big and it's, you're seeing like full size kind of buildings and stuff down here. There's like shop fronts and, um, <laughs> and then even like, Gosh. as you're uh, looking around, you see elves, you see, you know, there are <laughs> like, kind of like these different like you see more people that look like they could be trolls or more people that look like that have like the elf kind of ears. And there's a lot of people wearing kind of elaborate kind of um, robes, like uh, kind of Japanese uh, people wearing like the kimonos. Right, right. Kimonos and like, um, Kimonos. yeah, and they and they have like swords on them and stuff, you know, and but really, yeah. Yeah, like like and and also mm. the water as you're walking through here, the water looks more and more pure and it doesn't doesn't really smell anymore. In fact, you know, like the 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 smell of the um uh like the cooked meats and stuff like that, and you're hearing like the sounds of like string instruments and just kind of like a marketplace. Uh uh, it's not like um um like a Middle Eastern souk or right. Well, the, so this river, right? Mm -hmm. This like the this underground kind of river just runs through the whole thing, and then a uh, yeah, but it's like a a marketplace. And you see all, all I, different I, kinds I... of vendors, like people kind of I sitting mean... around on. Uh, blankets and stuff like they just brought some stuff out to trade but also like mm -hmm. shop fronts i lean toward Aunt earth toward I'm just hayden elves elves man elves. i'm just standing with my camera like this <laughs> are you and take are you a actually... picture yeah mm. click okay click it's just automatic by uh, by this point <laughs> yeah i would Muscle say that memory yeah nobody nobody really stops you but you might not want to do it in good company or in uh mixed company no 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 way. it's just that it's automatic for me i'm just my trigger finger just goes mm -hmm. Is there something that looks like they're kind of patrolling the place, maybe um, trying to keep order or anything like that? Um, Guards. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe do an observation roll. Oh, do you want to? Ooh, 21. Oh, Out so of that a, just that's a hard, a hard success? Regular. I got a regular. Yeah. Okay, so two regulars or three? Yeah. Um yeah, so you do see um it's it sort of looks like it might be a little bit lawless down here, but mm -hmm. everybody seems very respectful. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. there's no you don't hear anybody arguing really. Um like uh and if you're and if but if you're looking for people patrolling like guards or anything like that, you're not really seeing them. Would you say that uh, the air you uh, normally you can like source out the general feeling of a place, like how the mood is? Uh, is the mood more like a Sunday market, like farmers market, or Friday? Uh, Friday night like people drinking alcohol and milling around like it's more of a farmer's market no, vibe no. going on 
it does seem like there are people that look like they're in a kind of festive mood. Okay. Um, hmm. Like they're, you're, you're seeing a lot of these people, these elves that are dressed up in like kind of flowery white looking robes. Mm -hmm. um and then but you know like also more of the kind of japanese with like the cherry blossoms and stuff and mm -hmm. or like little um the the little waves and things and like almost almost like they are clicky you know mm -hmm. like i bet that's mm -hmm. the summer court and i bet that's the winter oh, court, yeah. you know yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm yeah. assuming mm -hmm. the cherry blossom is the probably the spring court yeah, and then there is a lot more of these people that are dressed in like these kind of flowing white white robes. The winter course. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's like just sheer numbers. There seems to be a lot more of them. But then they um they all seem to be like somewhat wealthy. Um mm -hmm. you're you know, like the 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 little people who just have their dinky little shops, mm -hmm. you're not seeing a lot of them who look like elves. Like there's there's like maybe if you're looking like looking hard mm -hmm. then you see like there's a there's like a guy who kind of looks like a like a living tree like a dryad or something mm -hmm. like that and then he's got wow. these little scrolls that are are like like there's like animated pens like quills that are dipping in mm -hmm. ink and then making copies of the same mm -hmm. scroll like people walk past and he's like blah, blah, blah. like check out look at my wares you know, no, Hayden. Okay. But in like a no, rumbling, I tore that. Check that out. <laughs> yeah, like That's in a kind very of rumbling impressive on their own. Uh, yeah. I say we approach. Try one not of the to one... look like a rube, like looking around, like. <gasps> yeah, I say I say we approach one of the ones with the cherry blossom with the uh, with the cherry blossom outfits, and say yeah. we received an invitation and show our invitation. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, also, what, what's the lightning uh, lighting situation? Is it open fires or or is it uh, electric lights? Um, yeah, there's. It seems to be a little bit of a mix. Like there are some. Uh, you you think that you can still you know if you look down some of the tunnels you can see a few little lights, but then where it's been dug out there's like um, uh, uh, torches and stuff like that. Um, and just are kind of low tech, um, but they're not burning, don't seem to be burning like uh, a regular fire, like a blue flame, you know, or a green flame or something like Magical that. Magical fire. Yeah. Oh, and then the, the vestigia is definitely thick here. It's uh, uh, like it's just coming off of everything. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the right place. All right. Uh, um, what's what's what are the vendors selling? Oh, like, let's see, there's, I mean, all kinds of stuff, like food. Um, there's, like, you see, there's people with, uh, look to be, like, metal workers, you know, selling, like, jewelry, but also, um, like, weapons and things like that, like, knives and full-size swords and, um, uh, like, people selling what looked to be like wands and uh and scrolls mm. and all kinds of like magical mm. crap <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. is there any medical stall um <laughs> no not i mean not at first glance nothing that's maybe like a potion <laughs> maybe like a somebody an with yeah. yeah an apothecary herbs yeah. hanging down exactly yeah right herbs. like you you see some like mandrake root and some ginseng like massive ginseng roots like kind of hanging from little stalls and stuff well, that's good. i'll go up to one of those herbalist places i for my vestigial roll i actually succeeded i i rolled 30 dead mm -hmm. which is my vestigia so i'm going up to the herbalist and looking at some of these things i don't know what um i'm obviously a west in colcated in western medicine more than anything else mm -hmm. but i probably have some idea about pharmacology of i've got science chemistry for example that or, mm -hmm. that i can um, be looking at or potentially science biology mm -hmm. so is there anything interesting and maybe get into conversation with the herbalist yeah, and it's like an older like Chinese gentleman dressed in like sort of more traditional Chinese 
garb, you know, and and he's like, welcome, welcome, sir. You know, what what can I help? Where can I help you? And he's like, sees you like looking at the the massive ginseng root, and then you notice that there's a hefty price tag on it. Like it looks like it's like a thousand something. You can't really make out what the denomination is. Like what the no, like it's some kind of a. It looks like a not a money symbol, but like some kind of some kind of symbol. But he's like he's like kind of looking. He's, he's like, yes, his gins, you know, ginseng is much more valuable. If it looks like a man like that and it has a large penis, <laughs> it's uh, good for right. uh, it's good for um, blood flow and and memory and uh, you know uh, make you make you very you know uh, powerful in bed. Well, okay, no, uh, uh, that's that's certainly important. It's my first time here. I have to say. Um, mm. and, um, so may I ask about the currency here? Oh. What's that unit, please? Oh, um, well, it's, uh, it's a fey, fey money. Fey money. Uh, elf, elf Is that print. kind of crypto? Um, <laughs> sort of, uh, sort of, yeah. Do you have, uh, do you have any, uh, gold or silver or uh diamonds maybe rubies well i've gems? got a little silver, bit of, silver yes I've, I've got a little bit of silver here and i sort of uh, how much does that buy for us for some silver dollars oh and his eyes get kind of big you know when you when you pull out the silver and then he's like he, he kind of leans in and he's like it's uh i can give it to you for uh five hundred dollars but uh, okay, but don't well, don't go flashing your, you know, don't go. It's, no, uh, no. I mean, I was showing him. I mean, I, I'm sort of discreet here. I'm not like, ha oh, oh, ha oh, ha. I'm Mr. Rich or something because I don't think I have that mm -hmm. much with with me. So, um, and so when he says five hundred dollars, do you mean five hundred silver dollars or um, uh, yeah. or you mean a, Just, uh, Elven Elven money, uh, ducats. Elven money. Duke, but okay, but right, five, okay. I can I can sell it to you for five hundred dollars. I can do Venmo. Five hundred. Venmo. Oh right. Oh great. Well, that's good. Um, I'm. Um, uh, Get cash. Mine. I I don't have U.S. Uh, I I've got a bit of cash, but probably Venmo is best. But it's difficult to get. Um, <laughs> on my phone to get coverage here. Is there the coverage some... better down here? There are some places you you have to go to the right you have to go to the right place you can get a signal down yeah. here. Look, I've just arrived here. My name is Hayden, sir, and mm. it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm probably going to wander around a bit further, but maybe can come back later. Um, how can I call you, please? Uh, yes, I'm I'm uh, I'm Doctor Lee. Doctor Lee, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you, Dr. Park. And uh, is there anywhere, any uh, money changer down here so we can get money for, for silver or gold? And, and he's like, he's like, oh, gold, gold and silver works just fine. They are okay. happy to trade in gold and silver. And his accent kind of slips a little bit, you know? It's like, <laughs> sounds more like a New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> okay so like i said all right so we'll, let's we'll get back to the looking around at the, the stuff uh, mm -hmm. the, the stalls a little bit let's see if we can track down our host mm -hmm. so yeah uh, we might as well but i do want yeah, to stop by the thing with uh scrolls and wands yeah uh, on the way out um I so i think that's, that that's out. A, a good um stopping place okay if you guys yeah. want to come back to yeah. it Three hours. Okay. Definitely. Okay. I, I was just gonna say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be late, late for, you. for you. Yeah. Yeah, four a.m. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow. A little bit. A little bit. All right. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording now.